Hey everyone, Gina Kane here. It is April 14th, 2020. We are still quarantined um, due to COVID-19 and we are doing house projects like many of you. I am standing in my mud room that goes to my backyard and I have one of these heart height charts that we measured the kids height on that I want to preserve. So I am going to do a how-to video on the steps to preserve that and be able to paint it guilt-free. So stay tuned. Okay, step step one is to get a large roll of butcher block paper. If you don't have this, you could probably take some eight and a half by 11 sheets and tape them together. I fortunately have butcher block paper. Okay, the next thing that I did was I took the long paper that is probably 36 inches wide and I made, folded it into a, longer six inch strip. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to tape this parallel to the height chart. That's gonna be the next step. Okay, the next thing that I did, and I'm in a small little room, this is a mud room off my office and kitchen space, so, and the ceilings are probably eight feet high. So what I did was I took that strip that I cut out or folded to eight and a half by 11, width maybe and I taped it up against the chart so you can see that it's not exactly against the ceiling or the floor but what I'm going to do is before the first line I'm going to measure how high that is so I know how high from the floor so no matter what happens that has to be three feet from the floor when I hang it or do whatever I'm going to do with it so stay tuned Okay, the next step that I did, and I'm gonna zoom in real close, is I measured each foot, two feet, three feet, um, and so on, all the way up to the top, so I know how high it is. The next thing I'm gonna do, and this is gonna take a while, and because me and my spouse are home, hi spouse, we are going to, it's probably gonna be a two person job, and we're going to transpose each one of these lines onto here with the dates and then um, it'll be preserved and then what I do with it after that I can decide I can keep it I can laminate it I can do a whole bunch of stuff with it um, but then I can paint over that wall so stay tuned all right so I have completed trans uh, transferring this information information which was the kids measurements as they grew to the paper so as you can see, it gets kind of confusing. It's kind of fun, especially when you have more than one child, and I only have two, but um, to remember how old they were when you measured them. So, and then you get kind of confused depending on the spread of the dates, if they're right. The years the kids are apart, but it was kind of fun watching it. And when we got down to the bottom, funny thing, we realized that my youngest was recorded more but not really because we realized that the start date was the same for Austin which is 8-7 and Sean's 8-7 is right there. So that's when we started this and it is now 2020 and we do have the last one recorded. One for Sean and one for Austin. So there's my project, how to transfer this so you can repaint the wall and not lose the memories. Have a good one, guys.